Drilling Drilling is an operation through which holes are produced in a solid metal by means of a revolving tool called drill. It is one of the roughing operation since it is not possible to produce a perfect true tool by drilling. Drilling machine is manufactured in different forms and sizes. Here we have shown the radial drilling machine. This type of machine is mounted on the floor. The important parts of a drilling machine are head, spindle, drill chuck, adjustable table, base, column, driving motors, drill bit. Now let us discuss the main parts of radial drilling machine. Base The base of a machine is made up of a large cast iron material which is mounted on a cylindrical vertical column. The base is provided with T-slots which helps the workpiece to be clamped rigidly to the base of the machine. Vertical Column The column is a long, cylindrical-shaped part fastened rigidly to the base. The column carries a radial arm that can be raised or lowered by means of an electric motor and can be clamped to any desired position. The radial arm can also be rotated, that is, swiveled in a complete circle around the column. Drill Head The drill head is mounted on the radial arm and carries a driving motor and a mechanism for revolving a feeding, that is, power feed, the drill bit into the workpiece. The drill head can be moved horizontally on the guide ways provided in the radial arm and can be clamped to any desired position. With the combination of the movements of radial arm of the drill head, it is possible to move the drill bit and hence generate a hole at any desired position without moving the workpiece. Now, let's see how it works. Firstly, we unscrew the lever of the column so that we can adjust the tool head accordingly. Now, we adjust the center of the hole and lock the drill head and the arm. Now, tool post holding is moved horizontally downward along the arm ways through which drilling spindle rotates which gives desired feed for the tool bit. The drill operation is a combination of rotary and linear motion which produces the hole in the metal workpiece. Here we can see the bit is pressed against the workpiece and rotated at rate which ranges from hundreds to thousands of revolutions per minute. This forces the cutting edge against the workpiece, cutting off chips from what we get a hole drilled through. Here, cutting fluid is flooded to cool the drill bit, which helps in increasing tool life, increased speeds and feeds, increased surface finish, aids in ejecting chips. Now, when the process is over, we will uplift the drilling spindle. So, finally we get a rough hole.